this is Archive of 12. And today we have a new Fable song. I was actually rather surprised to see that this was released on his main channel and not Fable After Hours. Um, because this is, if I'm recalling correctly, uh, the Amazing Digital Circus is a YouTube series. So for some reason, I kind of associated that with being more of an After Hours song, not his main channel song. But. I'm kind of glad that's on the main channel. So that way it gets, uh, you know, a little bit more recognition. Not that it needs it. I've done a little bit of research on the amazing digital for circus. And apparently it's the newest uh, big Internet hit since uh, has been hotel. So that's fantastic. Congratulations to the creators on that. Uh, and I've been very interested to see what Fable has uh, done. I personally have not seen the amazing digital circus. I was planning on doing that this weekend but my mom's memorial got in the way, so I was not able to actually check that out. So I'm going into this completely blind, not knowing anything about this. Uh, but uh, it should be fun. It's Fable. It's always going to be fun. Uh, link will be in the description below if you want to watch without my commentary, because we'll be pausing it. We'll be talking about it. And without further ado, let's get started. And now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that was a creepy way of starting this, but okay. I've been looking for an exit, and nobody else around me seems to care. Everybody that I'm left with try to tell me that it isn't even there. I've been looking for myself this time. Okay, first things first, um, because I haven't, is he pulling his eye out of his socket? I'll analyze that in a second. First things first, since I haven't seen The Amazing Digital Circus, I don't know if it's like an animation or if it's like a source filmmaker thing. I don't know anything about that. I don't know if it's 3D or if it's in 2D or whatever. So uh, I'll probably check that out after this song because this song has me very interested. But um, what I do know is that the video is really really well done uh, i'm kind of curious as to whether or not this is actually taken from the series because this says that uh the videos by uh by jupe who is his normal you know producer for music videos but it doesn't say anything about like the um like a source filmmaker animator so I'm guessing this stuff is from the series itself and not like an, a source filmmaker thing. Because, uh, uh, oh, ooh. I didn't realize DPS and Divi were on here. I knew DPS was on here because he called them out, but I didn't realize Divi was on here too. Interesting. Um, and Divi helped write it. Okay, then. That has me even more interested in this song. But anyway, uh, since I don't see any source filmmaker credit, I'm guessing that this is stuff from the animation, which is insane because this animation is so fun and yet so creepy. And it make it like I wish that I had actually sat down and watched uh, the pilot first uh, and I actually had had time to do a little bit of research on this because I am both confused and very interested in this this poor little jester and what seems to be like absolute chaos that he's going through uh i feel like fable is really encapsulating that in his in his wordplay and lyrics in that this guy feels like he is going through hell and everything has just been thrown topsy-turvy on him which if that's the case i feel it for you dude we're all, we're all kind of like in that insane situation have been for about three years now, almost four. I understand. I understand, and I feel for you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm I'm very curious and very invested with this uh, series now 
Um, and I'm curious to see because it sounds like we're getting into like a chorus or a hook. And I'm curious to see how Fable is going to approach that with something like this. Because so far, it's like the, the message has been very dark, but the song has been kind of lively. So I'm 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 wondering if there's going to be a drop in tone and this is going to get from like, you know, kind of kind of happy, but a little bit horror to like straight up like menacing like he's done before, especially with some of his after hour songs. Okay, so that was definitely a lot more playful of a, a feeling that I was expecting, but combined with the visuals was very, very, very creepy. Um, it's kind of weird too because the first thing I thought of was like it almost sounded like it was like a rap rendition of like one of the one of the songs from the Nutcracker, which immediately made me think Christmas music, which is bizarre to me. But that's where my mind went. Maybe it's just because of the fact that Christmas music is already playing at my work, and so like I'm in that mindset and I hate it. So maybe that's part of it. But it just it reminded me of something from the Nutcracker. Uh, and uh, that was very interesting. It was like horror themed, but still very fun and playful. Uh, I, I feel like that that juxtaposition is. Um, it's something that Fable has done a few times, and he's he's really good at that because it sounds happy until you listen to the lyrics and then you realize, oh, this character is going through some stuff. I really feel sorry for this guy. <laughs> I've been running from disaster. I don't know how much of this that I can take. Feel my heart be getting faster. How much longer can I bend until I break? <laughs> Sanity, don't let me go. This world has got me so cold. Anything I'd ever know turn into fire and cold. This rap section also, I've been listening to a lot of old school Fable stuff, especially some of his Fortnite stuff, because I've been kind of getting back into Fortnite with the OG update now out. And this section right here almost sounds a little bit like some of his, his OG raps, which is fun because. Those are some, in my personal opinion, those are some of his most memorable. Maybe not necessarily in my top, like, favorites, but some of his most memorable, for sure. How much longer can I bend until I break? Yeah, sanity, don't let me go. This world has got me so cold. Anything I'd ever know. Turn into fire and cold. Feel like we're all just some pixels in this game. I've seen the worst of people. I must be the one to blame. It's insane. We've been granted this reality. What? But happiness seems artificial. Everything that I've got just feels hollow and deranged. Ordinary play. Thoughts all of our brain. We're just locked into the chain. And I love how he just slowly ramped that up from like just being a normal rap to starting to get those that grit in there to the point where he was scream rapping at us at the end, which he's become very good at. Like, I, I like the, uh, the the how the tone just the words stayed, you know, pretty much the same in tone. But the 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 the, the way he was presenting them felt so much more. Um, focused and and crazy psychotic and it was just, just thrilling it's always thrilling to hear him do that Stuck with a brand new family tree. Oh. Day after day, she'll be begging me to live in this heavenly, endless themed masterpiece. Like the wind among the leaves, you up for the grand view, waiting you'll see. No more morning, no more dream. In this heavenly, endless themed masterpiece. I oh 
I am very curious to see what the 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 amazing digital circus is all about now that I've seen that. That was um stylistically a very interesting and very unique approach to a song that again this almost felt like a Fable After Hours song. For what it, for people who are unfamiliar with Fable After Hours compared to his normal Fable songs, in After Hours, he does a lot more experimental stuff compared to his anime tracks. His anime tracks, he's got a consistent feel to them for the most part. Like, every single one is unique. Everything's, every single one feels different, but you kind of know what you expect. But the After Hours track, you never know what you're expecting. And uh, if you have listen to his FNAF song that he released last, what was it, last uh, video? Um, I think it was the last video he released, was uh, like a redone version of his, uh, of the Source Filmmaker video for his uh, FNAF song that he released a couple months ago. Like, if you've listened to that, you can tell that it stylistically was, it felt more experimental compared to the uh, songs that he's released for like Kakashi or Sasuke or you know, um, uh, Goku or Vegeta. It's, you know, all the anime songs have the, uh, this really interesting and unique sound to them that feels very much fable when you listen to them. But his After Hours songs are always, they always feel a little bit more playful and experimental. Like he's trying different things because he's got a different like, genre to mess with, with the video game stuff. This song felt much like those, where... Because it's not an anime song, it doesn't quite have that anime vibe to it. And so he decided to play around with the music production. Uh, and obviously with DPS and Fable uh, helping it, that added even more layers to it. Uh, but he played around with this in a way that reminded me more of his After Hours tracks. Which I love because the After Hours tracks are some of uh, my favorite ones of recent memory from Fable. Because they're so... You never know what you're expecting. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, because every single After Hours song has its own unique style that transcends any kind of description compared to the previous one. All you know is that he's basically just experimenting. That's all you know. You don't know, like, what you're going to get. When it comes to, like, the anime songs, you know it's probably going to be a rap song or a rock song, and it, the only difference between them is how he goes about presenting them. But with this one, you got a little bit of, like, uh, electronic stuff going on in there. You've got a little bit of uh, like playful, like was that like almost an ele electronic uh, induced xylophone at some point? Like you, there are things you're not expecting to hear in the anime songs, and I love that. Uh, I'm I'm very curious to see if uh, if the Amazing Digital Circus gets more stuff about it. Because this was just about the pilot episode, as far as I'm aware. I think there's only one episode out right now. If more of this uh, series comes out, I would love to see more artists jump on this, and especially Fable, and play around with, like, doing even more stuff with it. Because I'm already starting to see the, uh, a lot of people finding this, uh, this YouTube series and jumping on it, similar to what they did with Hasbro Hotel. Um... And a hell, of a, a hell of a boss as well. So I'm curious to see, like, if this is going to be something that other nerdcore artists are going to really play around with and really try to, uh, to experiment with, like Fable just did here. Because uh, if so, that would be awesome. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for joining me. I am Arkava12, and I will see you in the next video.